Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are focusing on systems technology and we are going to be looking at types of computer systems for different users. Now, if you think of a user as well as a computer that the user will need, obviously the computer will rely on the task that the user needs to do. Now, there are different types of users and because each user uses a system for a different purpose, they need a different type of a computer that is suitable for what they are doing. Now we're going to look at four different types of users as well as the types of computers that they use. The first type of a user is a personal user. Now let's find out more about this personal user. Now a personal user uses a desktop computer now this user would obviously be at home doing more of personal things. Now what does this user do is they can be typing, they can be playing games, doing their budget, playing some music as well as some networking. Now you can also have a network at your house or at home if you have more than one computer and you can also have a printer as well as be able to share the internet. Now obviously a personal user would be someone like you sitting at home with your own computer using your computer for your own things. Then we have another different type of a user and that user we call it a Soho user. Now in full a Soho user is a small office home office user now these users mostly they would be self-employed people or people who have a small business that has less than 50 employees right so it means that it's not really a big business now these users would use a desktop or sometimes smartphones because whenever you're running a business you sometimes need to be out of the office so your smartphone will also be allowing you to receive emails as well as making phone calls now these users can have a network in order for them to share data resources as well as the internet because remember when you share data and resources you're actually minimizing costs now another thing they can use applications that are related to their business. Now because there's a lot of different businesses, they would obviously need different applications that will help them in order to achieve their goal for their business. The next user, we have a mobile user. Now this user basically uses a mobile device. Now why does this mobile user use a, div uh, a mobile device? It is because mostly they are needed to be on the road. Now, sometimes they can even use a mobile computer, which can be a laptop, or they could obviously use a smartphone. Now, these users would obviously need to be on the road, but while on the road, they need internet access. Now, this internet access will allow them to have contact in terms of what is happening in the, in the office and be able to get more information online as well as communicate online. Now, they also use some basic software on their computers or on their smartphones and their work needs them to be out of the office and on the road. And that is why they would obviously need to have these mobile devices. Another user, which is our last user, is a power user. Now, these users are the users that really, really need the best computer. Now, they need a very powerful computer with software that is job-related. Now, when we say job-related, it means that it has to be software that will allow them to actually do what is, whatever that they are doing at work. Now, for example, if you think of someone who is a designer, they would obviously need some designing software. Now, these computers would obviously have a very powerful processor because they would need to process a lot of information. Now, what you can do is you can obviously edit some videos. You know, videos take up a lot of space, so hence a powerful computer would be suitable for such purposes. You can be able to edit graphics, do some experiments, and play some professional gaming. 
Then another thing, you can also have internet. Now you need internet, obviously, if you're playing professional gaming where you compete with other users online or if you want to do some research and you can also have a network. And that is it for our lesson for today regarding computer users as well as users. Hope you enjoyed. Please join us next time. Thank you.